Hi all folks, this is Max from Nexus7Root.com um, So I've got another ROM review um, This is the Paranoid Android ROM uh, This is one of my favorites and uh, very good for tablets um, because this gives you an ultimate uh, power of being able to uh, switch between tablet mode, phone mode and even go by the apps but let me give you a little tour this is actually built off CM10 Cyanogen Mod 10 ROM so you're gonna find you can actually flash it right over it um, that's what I actually did and also it should be compatible to flash over most of the um, Jelly Bean ROMs out right now so let me show you um, some of the cool stuff here uh, one of the coolest things is that you do get everything from the CM10 Jelly Bean but you do get the added paranoid Android settings uh, let's take a look at this um, if you go to workspace you can change out the whole UI um, I have it actually in tablet UI small mode and you can even set it to uh, phone UI or you can set it to the normal um, Nexus 7 with the three buttons at the bottom um, so there's different ways to um, you know set up your tablet mode now I'm in tablet UI mode so it's a little bit different I get a lot more options um, which I really like uh, I, I like the tablet since it has a bigger screen there's no reason to have the default uh, Nexus 7 um, user interface and uh, let's go to user interface and you can set um, the default uh, app mode so you can set it to phablet mode um, tablet mode, phone mode, um, phablet mode, I think it's a mix of uh, phone and tablet. Um, here's the coolest part is that you can actually go into apps and uh, set the DPI per app. Um, DPI stands for dots per inch. So let's say I have, um, let's say, let's put my Netflix out here real quick. Now let's say this is my Netflix this is in tablet mode let's say your your dad or mom um, they have they're very nearsighted uh, they got they're old and or is that farsighted um, they're very farsighted hard to see things um, in small letters um, so you grab their Nexus 7 tablet install this ROM and you can go back to paranoid Android settings and let's go find Netflix here and uh, we're simply gonna click on it here and uh, you can change the layout um, in different ways. There we go. So, ooh, a lot, a lot of options here. Um, you can change this. Let's change it. Ah. I think uh, if you slide it to the left, um, it's gonna make it smaller. So that the actual app gonna be bigger. Uh, let's try. Let's try uh, 160 and see what happens. And launch it. So that's at 160. I think that will actually make it smaller, so it's not what we want. But I just wanted to show you. Um, if you go higher DPI, then it will actually. So now it looks a lot smaller. Um, you know, some of you might like it if you want to see a lot more apps here. And now let's go back and try the opposite uh, for your grandpa. Your mom and dad who's farsighted, their sight is getting nearsighted as they're getting older. So I'm going to set it at maximum 360 and uh, let's try to launch it this time. You can see how much bigger it is. It's easier to read. Um, this is a great way actually for um, you know people who have trouble reading small screens. And my dad you know, has a really old iPhone 3GS. He squints all the time. I ask him, uh, what do you use your iPhone for? He says, um, I just checked my email. <laughs> Actually, he's gotten a little bit better, but I told him to get a Galaxy Note, and uh, he said he will. Um, so now you can see much better. This is a great way uh, for people, you know, because you don't want to be locked into the setting. And let's go look at Gmail. So let's go look at Gmail. Maybe the tablet mode, you don't like it, so let's go ahead and change this also. Um, perhaps your dad is like my dad who can't read small letters on a tablet device or um, any kind of a smartphone device there's also um, this ROM available for many of the and other Android phones so you can do this um, install this ROM it's a great ROM for th those kind of purpose and other kind of purposes you just wanna see the tablet mode on certain things and whatnot so let's set this to all the way to 360 and uh, okay and launch it now my Gmail is going to be completely readable. 
Now you'll see that the DPI is still in tablet mode. So let's get rid of this whole thing. Um, you can also do that um, by going out to the layout here. And uh, let me see here. Let's try, um, it's at 2.6, so let's try 1.36, apply it, and uh, launch it and see what happens. So now you got rid of the sidebar. Um, your dad or your grandma who can't see that well, they can actually look at uh, an email and be able to read it a lot easier. So it's a very, very useful ROM. Um, obviously, it's not for everybody. But of course, you can also just use it as a, just a regular, you know, regular mode. Um, but Paranoid Android is great because you have that flexibility. Uh, certain apps, you know, you might be, you might want to run it, you know, at the maximum, um, the largest, you know, so you can see most movies. Um, and also, you'll see a little bit performance difference by running it like this versus having it um, in tablet mode. See, it's a lot, a lot faster. So this could be uh, better for some people. So I really like it. Um, it's a great ROM, and uh, you get all the options. It's compatible with um, all of the CM10 stuff. You can install overclock kernel. Um, of course, it does have performance settings by itself, and uh, you can go to processor here, uh, maximum frequency. Well, it's at 1.3, but you can install uh, like a Motley kernel, CM anything CM10 um, kernel compatible kernel. You can install it, and uh, you should be able to get all of all of your things and you get you still get the themes I have a, a holo red theme I got and I really like it um, so check it out you know this is a very good ROM for those of you who want to customize your apps um, and uh, again it's gonna be very good for the older folks and stuff maybe you bought a Nexus 7 for your grandma who can't read that well um, this is kind of like gonna change everything for her and allow her to actually use a tablet and read it you know so very good ROM, check it out, and uh, you know it can be useful for other people also. And uh, if you have a Nexus 7, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, nexus7root.com. We update you uh, once a week. Uh, we haven't started yet, but if you sign up, uh, once we have enough people, we're going to start that. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you need help with your Nexus 7 and any other future Google Nexus 7 tablets. Um, and uh, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me if you like this video. And subscribe button up there. Um, I would appreciate it. And uh, you guys have a great week. Um, and uh, stay high on Android. Yeah. Oh, yeah.